I'm always wondering about today's story. And I start thinking about the animal that it is that I might harvest or kill on this hunt. And I'm wondering if there is going to be a crossroads. I enjoy the euphoria that comes from exploring and sourcing my own food. It really makes me feel like I'm engaging in the earth, I'm engaging in mother nature, I'm engaging into predator and prey. And that really is who I am. Gear is an essential element of being a hunter. Obviously with hunting there's a weapon, and so it gives you another element in addition to your camping gear, in addition to your backpacks, your boots, the clothing you're gonna wear. And so you have to become an expert with that weapon, whether that be a rifle or a longbow or a compound bow. But it's also getting your hands on all of your gear, right? Selecting your tent, your sleeping bag, what is it that you're gonna eat, how are you gonna cook, where are you gonna source your water? It's one of the elements of being a hunter that I enjoy the most. And if you really find what works for you and you really simplify what works for you and, and you're honest with yourself and where it is that you wanna go, it adds a lot to the hunt. Accessing these areas and having a starting point, getting your base camp to where you're gonna start is an essential element. And having a vehicle like the Polaris Expedition, having a side-by-side, -side, it's a fantastic tool. I wanna immerse myself even more. I wanna be under the stars. I wanna feel the wind. I wanna feel the rain. Access is everything and we hunt with a lot of important gear and getting it there is just as important. I hunt a lot. I kill very little. I just have a fantastic appreciation for wildlife. Being a biologist in layman's terms means being an observer. And that's what hunting brings me is it allows me to slip into an area and, and sit quietly and kind of watch the world come to life around me. And the closer you become to something, the more interesting it becomes. And so if I were merely a hunter, I would be a few layers removed from the ecosystem. I would still have a great appreciation for the ecosystem. I would still be entertained. I would still have a tremendous appreciation for the animals and the wildlife, but I have a, a significant understanding of how the systems work and that has brought me closer to the wildlife, closer to the habitat. It just makes me want to belong in there uh, that much more. First of all, and I don't know why, but I almost never get to my alarm. I think that speaks to something in and of itself. I get up, that gives me time to eat some food, get my gear together, double check, triple check. Being in the wilderness is not a place that you wanna have a misstep. There's a certain vigor that comes with being a hunter and there's a certain vigor that, you know, the cold gets a hold of you. So you have this, this excitement for the day and this vigor of feeling the elements right away. I get to be a front row participant in watching these animals behavior change and kind of understanding the hunt. And so I'm really starting to anticipate and wonder about what it is that's going to happen today and what is going to be the story by the end of tonight. Cause I know there's going to be one. It's kind of like scratching this little lottery ticket every day. I put my Dave Smith buck decoy at 20 yards out front and there's a big eight pointer. I think he's at least six and he's jumping a fence that's just 40, 50 yards away. When I'm either sitting in a ground blind or sitting in a tree stand or I'm spot and stalking an animal, everything slows down. You're ultra aware of how the wind is blowing. You're ultra aware of where you're placing your hand, where you're placing your knee, the noise that you're making. You're watching this animal 
in absolute incredible detail. You're looking at his eyeball, you're looking at how he's breathing, how he's moving, where his ears are positioned. Your senses are heightened and you're able to watch the world come to life. And that's one of the biggest rewards is being able to watch animals behave in a natural setting while not being behind walls or fences. And you really become a participant in that ecosystem in that moment and it's quite rewarding. Let's see if I can get the full draw while he's hopefully posturing into the decoy. And then I have to try and get a clean shot before he attacks the decoy. Because if he attacks the decoy, he's gonna run off. If I don't kill an animal on a particular day, the process of truncating down the information, what I've learned, what did I see, what didn't I see, being a hunter, being a seeker, that's what we're doing. Whether you kill an animal or not, you come away with great belonging and understanding, but when you take an animal's life, it's just another level of presence and, and mindfulness in that element. I believe it's really, truly who we were meant to be. We were supposed to be a hardened warrior. That's who we are. We're supposed to face the cold, and we're supposed to walk upright and be strong and take care of those that are next to us that can't take care of themselves. That's who we are.